Hi, many of you have asked for this tutorial on my piece, A Change of Season. So I am going to uh, go through the mechanics of playing A Change of Season and I hope you enjoy this at home. I want you to be familiar with a few chords uh, that come up a lot in this piece. The first one is G minor, G, B flat and D. The second one is an E flat chord, which is another triad of E flat, G, and B flat. You can identify where those are on the piano, that would be good. I know a lot of you read music, some of you don't really read music. This video is really meant for those of you who are more visual and need to see how I actually play it and what fingers I use. Another chord would be a C minor chord, C, E flat, and G. Okay, and we're also gonna be familiar with the D major chord, D, F sharp, A. The piece begins simply with this counterpoint. Now here's where you hear the first leaf falling. So what is that? It is a backward arpeggio, all right? So before we do a backward arpeggio, we're going to show you, a, I am going to show you a forward arpeggio. I'm just taking that G minor chord and I'm rolling it. One note at a time. So for this leaf falling, I know that went kind of fast, but I'm going rolling it up. I'm gonna come on over here and see it. I am rolling it up and rolling it down. Rolling it up, rolling it down. So. It's just down, it's just down. Up, down, up, down. It's really fun to do once you get the hang of it. Now I'm gonna move on to the next part of the piece. Now this is pretty straightforward. I am doing arpeggios, arpeggiated chords in the left hand. G minor, B flat, C minor, pattern repeats itself a lot in this particular piece. So let's just pay attention to the left hand. I recommend that you practice this before the adding the right. have asked me a lot about this section in the middle of the piece. It's very similar to what we just did in the beginning. This backward arpeggio, the leaves falling. The left hand is simply doing this pattern. C minor, Last part is when I play this melody up in the upper registers. having difficult doing that part, I recommend taking the right hand out and working simply on the left hand. It looks like this. Once you have 
have that left hand down by rote when you really know it and you just keep repeating and repeating, you will feel very free in your right hand to play the other notes. Another method that might help you if you're feeling frustrated is to not roll any of the notes. Simply play the chords while you're learning the right hand. G minor, E flat, C minor. Do the whole piece like that. Until you're ready. Uh, I hope that that was helpful to you and you can follow the links in the comments to take you to the sheet music and also to listen to the song free on Spotify or Pandora. Thanks for watching.